Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I just got done filming my weekly budget check-in as well as my Paycheck 3 um, budget for December. So today is Friday, December 20th, and now I am moving on to my favorite part of the budgeting that I do every week, which is my sinking funds and cash envelope stuffing. Um, it's my favorite thing to watch, and I know it's a lot of your guys' favorites too. So we will go ahead and get started here. Um, this is kind of what my budget looked like. I need to pull out $160 in cash for my cash envelopes, which include gas, spending, and groceries. And then I need to pull out $100 um, in cash for sinking funds, which include car maintenance, kids, Christmas, medical, household gifts, and personal care. And then just kind of a recap, I um, have $95.63 left from my two incomes here after all my bills were paid this week. So just a little recap of that if you didn't catch that video. I'm going to get my cash laid out here um, that I got from the bank and we will then go ahead and start getting the envelope stuffed. Okay, I got everything set out here. I have all my cash. Um, I have my three cash envelope set categories which is spending, gas, and groceries. Um, and then I have my sinking fund binder which this is a recollections binder. I got it at Michael's. Um, I absolutely love it to hold all my sinking funds. Um, I hole punched them, laminated them, and put them in here and it works out perfect for me. So I'm going to go ahead and start with these three. Um, so first what I'm going to do is I do have some money left in all three of these. So spending ended up having five six seven eight dollars left over for the week so I'm just gonna put this down here for now actually we'll move this we'll put it up here I'm gonna put that to the side for now and I'll show you guys what I do with that at the end um, so spending gets forty dollars a week so we'll take forty get that put in there and spending is completely funded for the week um, next is gas gas has three dollars left over put that in the same pile and then gas also gets $40 so we'll go ahead and get that in there and I will be ready for when I need to fill up again um, and then last cash envelope is groceries and groceries has one two three four five six seven eight dollars left in it we'll put that to the side and then groceries gets 80 and I kind of like to do a combination of different bills um, for my grocery envelope. So we have $80 there. We'll get that put in there. So my three cash envelope categories are funded. These will go in my billfold. I take these ones with me. I leave all of these ones at home until I need to use it, which then I will normally just pull the money out rather than taking this entire thing with me um, because it would be absolutely detrimental if I lost this because there's quite a lot of money in here um, and it's all cash obviously so I do not take this with me um, I just pull the money out that I need if I know I'm going to go somewhere where I need to spend it and then I come back um, and I put the money back in here if I have change left over and then I write my transaction on the back so this always stays at home now I'm going to start with my sinking funds. Um, those of you that have been watching me for a little bit know that I do have sinking funds in here that I am not currently funding. That will start uh, in January, um, which is a few weeks away. I'm so excited to be able to start filling these. I don't know why. I just, I just love sinking funds. Um, I did make a video um, about setting up my 2020 sinking funds, um, which I will post up in the art card up here um, so you guys can go check that out I loved making the video um, and it just kind of shares with you guys my new categories for 
2020 as well as how much I will be putting in every single envelope and why I came up with that amount. Um, so definitely go check that out that video if you get a chance to. Um, but we'll go ahead and get started here. So the first one is a one of my kids' savings account. This is one I am not funding until January. Same with back to school and same with car insurance. And this car insurance is so that I could save up so I can pay a six month premium in July of 2020. Um, I am currently just paying on a monthly basis. Car maintenance, I am funding. So last week it had 150 and I have not spent any. So we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50. Car maintenance every week gets 10. And I do need to get my oil changed relatively soon so I will be using this one in the near future. So then what I do um, after I take out any money or put any money in any of my envelopes, any of my sinking funds, I just come back here and I track it. So today is the 20th, I am adding in $10 and that will put me at $160. Um, I do not have trackers on the back of my gas spending and groceries envelopes. I normally just put the receipt in here um, whenever I use them, but I don't have the, tra the trackers on the back of those just because I'm using them so often um, it doesn't really make sense. So next is Christmas. And last, or on the 14th, I did take out $420, which left me with $100. And so like I said, I have, or actually I said this in a previous video, but I've lowered my Christmas sinking fund um, down to $25 a week now that I'm finished Christmas shopping and whatnot. Um, so this $100, I'm just going to roll over into my sinking fund for next year. Um, I had a lot of people asking if I was going to put it towards my debt snowball payment or something else. And... I'm really sitting okay financially right now um, to where I just don't feel that I need to put it towards debt snowball. I have a pretty big debt snowball payment already that I'm going to be making, so I'm just going to take that $100 and roll it over into next year, um, and then I'll just continue to add $25 from here until next year, and that should give me... Um, I forgot what I was doing. That should give me... A Christmas budget that I'm comfortable with you know after kind of seeing how things went this year so we're adding in 25 and then with that hundred dollars that leaves me with hundred and twenty five dollars um, so then I will fill Christmas again next Friday the 27th with 25 so then starting in 2020 I will have hundred and fifty dollars in my Christmas sinking fund already um, for 2020 so this is another kid savings that I'm not funding yet. Gifts, last week had $100 in it. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, not, hold on. Is that right? Did I miss something? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. There we go. Must have been stuck together. So gifts gets $10 a week. So we'll add that and that will put us at 110 for the week. I do need to get a few coworker gifts um, soon ish since Christmas is next week. So I will probably be using something out of this relatively soon. But I also have a few gift cards that I got. Um, at my work Christmas party, so I might use that too, so maybe I won't have to use this. Um, next is household. Last week it had $60, so we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and household gets $15 a week. So there we go, we'll put the 5 at the back. So we will be left with 75 in household. So 12, 20, we're adding in 15, puts us at 75. And if you're wondering what I'm writing with and on, so these are the Erin Condren um, 
wet erase markers. They come in, I seriously have all sorts of colors. I have blue, pink, gray. I have more than that somewhere. They have red, they have black, they have brown. I don't know where all the rest of mine went. Um, but I use these for my cash envelopes and then you can literally just take water, a white, wet rag or paper towel, wipe it off. Um, once it's on there, it doesn't smear. Um, they work really, really, really good. So that's what I use for my cash envelopes. Um, so we're done there. Kids, my kids envelope has 170 as of last week. Um, somebody asked me what I use this one for, and I use it for anything relating to my kids. Um, an example I usually give is my son wanted to do a basketball camp and it was $40 so I took that out of here. Um, my daughter did a babysitting clinic um, about a month ago and I think that was $25. I took that out of here. Um, if they, I, they, uh, my two youngest kids needed um, new snow boots so I took that out of here. So really just anything relating to something that they need. Um, I don't really use it for things that they want. You know, that was like for Christmas. I obviously used my Christmas budget, but just something that they need, I pull it out of here. So we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 70, and then this one gets $20 a week. So we are at 190 in this envelope for the week. One ninety. Okay, this is another kids' savings. I have three kids. If you haven't been counting, that one I'll start in January. Medical. Last week we were at fifty, and in all fives, so we have five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, and I'm sure you know what I put in here. We'll do another five. So medical will be left at fifty-five for the week. So we're adding in five, leaves us with 55. So personal care last week was at 80. My stomach just growled, so sorry if you heard that, it was really loud. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, and it gets $15. So we'll be at 95, and then um, I do need to get my hair cut and colored and my eyebrows waxed soon-ish, so I will be using money out of this one as soon as I can get an appointment. So we're at 95 for that one. And then last I have is rent. Last week we were at 100, um, so we're adding in 50, which will put us at 200, or not 200, 150. I need to be at 200. So then we'll fill that one on the 27th, and then I will be able to pay my rent. And yes, it is only $200 a month, um, and that's because I live in a family-owned house, and that's just what they set it at, and I'm very thankful that I have family that did that for me. This savings envelope will not be filled until January, same with school tuition. The last one is debt snowball, um, and then this is where this money comes into play. So. All the money that I have left over from my gas, spending, and grocery envelope every single week, um, I take out and I put into this envelope, and then at the end of the month, I take all the money out of there and I put it towards an extra debt snowball payment. Um, I used to roll the cash over, so if I had $5 left over in gas at the end of the week, I would roll it over to next week, so then the next week I would start out with $45. But... Um, about two months ago, I changed how I did it, and I started taking the money out, and it amazed me how quickly it adds up um, when you take it out and put it towards debt snowball rather than spending it on something that I probably don't need. So, we are at $86 from last week, or from the whole month combined. So 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. And then I am adding in 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
is what I'm adding in here. Let's get this organized. So we're adding in 19. And <clears throat> so we have 86 and 19. So we are at $105 in my debt snowball envelope for December so far. And then we have one more paycheck to go. So that's a hundred, even if I ended right now, that's $109 or $105 that I would have not had, um, that I would have just spent on something else that I'm now putting towards use, you know, to an extra debt snowball payment. So I started doing that a few months ago and I really like it. Um, I definitely recommend it uh, because if it was in these envelopes, I would just spend, especially the spending, you know, it just gets spent on something that I don't need at all. So. I definitely recommend that. So there we have it. Everything is stuffed. My envelopes are getting pretty full, um, which I love to see. I like the numbers to increase. I hate taking money out of them to spend to spend them, even though that's what they're for. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys have a great Merry Christmas next week um, and a Happy New Year as well. Um, and remember to like this video, subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!